So the year was 2000 and my husband Robert and I, we were in our early 30s and we were building a family in the center of Amsterdam. As we Dutch women like to do, I gave birth with a midwife on the fifth floor of this very old house. And the midwife looked at the baby and I saw on her face that something wasn't right. I asked her, what's wrong, what do you see? And she said, I see a small spot on her back and if I press on it, it turns blue. The results of the bone marrow biopsy are on the table in front of the doctor. To be honest, he says, we don't know what is best for Charlotte. The doctor continues to talk, but I no longer hear him. I reach for my bag, then I put on my sweater and put Charlotte snug in her sling. What are you doing? The doctor asks. I'm leaving, I say. Why? He asks. Because I am. Will you be coming for consultations? He asks. Yes, we cannot do this on our own. We will do everything in our power to help Charlotte in the best way, he says. I will see you next week for a first checkup. Outside it's high summer. We settle on a bench and watch the boats floating by. My daughter is two weeks old. I'm 2,000 years old. And at the same time, I'm a scared child. Those soft little blue spots on her skin turned out to be tumors and she was diagnosed with a severe form of leukemia. And so we were faced with an enormous dilemma. What our answer was to this dilemma was an abundance of love. We just want to cherish every precious moment we had with her. Since we decided not to treat her with chemotherapy, that sounded like we did nothing. We did actually a whole lot. I became a lioness, I protected her against anything that I felt was bad for her. And since she responded so well to that, and since she kind of felt it, there was this working together to heal her. And her immune system could kick in and give her what she needed to become better. And after a year, almost the impossible thing happened. We were told that she had gone into remission. Now, I realize very much how lucky we are with Charlotte. We escaped from a black hole and we are so lucky to have a daughter who is happy and healthy now. But I learned that you can take charge of your child's healing. You can feel that you own the process of having a sick child. One of the big lessons is that you as a parent are your child's best advocate. If you listen to your inner voice, your intuition, you learn to listen to your child and together you have a lot of power.